Jared Poland. Fronosphoto.com. And there's a lot of questions out there on what Nikon and Canon are going to do in the mirrorless world. Because as of right now, we know that Sony is the full frame mirrorless king. They have the A9, the A7R3, the A7 III. They have a jump start on Nikon and Canon in this mirrorless world because now we are starting to see a shift towards mirrorless cameras because of the technologies that they bring. Now, not everything is perfect in a mirrorless camera, but not everything is perfect in a DSLR. So if you can meld those two worlds together, you can get the best of both worlds and it's gonna really help us as creatives and photographers. So a lot of people have asked, what do I think will happen? Do they, they say, is Nikon or will Nikon and Canon come out with a mirrorless camera and I don't think it's an if or an is or will they are going to come out with a mirrorless camera it's not a question of if it's a matter of when and my guess is in the next 8 to 12 months you will see Nikon and Canon's full frame professional mirrorless camera offerings now I'm just basing that on what I really feel is going to happen because if Nikon and Canon don't do that they're possibly going to go out of business. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think they both are working quickly to do this, to get to a mirrorless place where they can have a full frame pro camera to start and then start to fill in the lineup there. Now, Sony has that jump start, but Nikon and Canon already have all of the people with a ton of Nikon glass and a ton of Canon glass. Now, I know people have been jumping ship from Canon more so than from Nikon because they've been waiting for Canon to come out with something and they're not happy with what Canon has. So they've been jumping ship to Sony and using adapters with the lenses they have. Now, the big question is, is will your lenses work on a Nikon mirrorless camera or on a Canon mirrorless camera? A lot of people are asking that and there is no doubt in my mind that yes, your lenses will work with a native adapter. I have no problem with a native Nikon or a native Canon adapter allowing me to use my EF glass or my uh, F mount lenses for Nikon because you can already do this with the EOS M adapter that Canon has put out. You can put a lens on there. We did it with the EOS M5 real world review. I put a 70 to 200 on their adapter and you lose no functionality. That also means it's going to happen for Nikon as well. You will see an F mount adapter. Now I do think you will see new mounts entirely because of the way that the flange system is set up and the way that the flange distance is from the sensor to the lens. Now, what this also means is that you're going to start to see wider angle lenses get smaller because they have the ability to do that when they go with the mirrorless cameras. The bigger glass, the longer lenses, it's still going to be big ass glass like this. But let me interrupt this real quick to say if you haven't downloaded My Gear Vault, could you please go and do that? It's a free app. Download it for iOS and Android right now. It's the best way to input, organize, and protect your gear. If you're watching this and you're into photography and you have gear, just download this. I think you'll find it useful. Um, for what you're looking to do. The new lenses, you'll start to see a new mount, but then they're gonna come out with newer glass. You've got big glass, you've got wide glass, but you have the ability to adapt your glass, which is gonna stop the bleeding from people jumping ship to Sony. It's also gonna mean that Sony's gonna have to start to work harder because anybody coming into the new ecosystem is gonna be like, well, I have all of these lenses I could get for Nikon and Canon and adapt natively to a mirrorless body that those two are going to offer. So that jump start, that five years or so head start that they have into the mirrorless world, I think is gonna be wiped out pretty quick and we're gonna have a three horse race. Uh, and let me check notes again, adapters, ah, let's see. Remember that Canon revolutionized the, <laughs> the world with the 5D Mark II when they came out with that camera. Nikon revolutionized the full frame world before that with the D3. Or was it around the same time? I don't recall, but it wasn't the same time as the 5D Mark II. But the D3 changed the world. I was thinking of jumping ship from Nikon to Canon when the D2X and the D2XS was all we had and we didn't have a full frame offering. Well, Nikon struck hard with the D3 and that changed the trajectory of photography forever because that camera gave us the ability to shoot at 4,000, 5,000, 6,400 ISO and get clean usable shots, even 8,000. So I don't think it's out of the question for Nikon and Canon to come back and do that as well. But with the what, what they need to do is make sure that they literally take what works in the Sony 
and make sure it works in their systems. I think Canon's gonna have a better go of it when it comes to video because they have dual pixel AF. They're already working on something similar to IAF called pupil AF. Nikon, on the other hand, terrible video autofocus compared to the other three. So I think Nikon's the one that's going to be behind when it comes to having the hybrid for video and for photo. The photos are gonna be great. The ergonomics are gonna be great, but they need to really buy a company or get technology that is gonna make their video autofocus a hell of a lot better. So let's see, that's it. That's my state of the industry. That's what I think is going to happen in the next eight to 12 months. Nikon and Canon will have their full frame offering out into the world. And then it's a whole new ball game. It's a brand new horse race because everybody is in it to win it. What do you guys think? What system, are you jumping ship? Or are you going to wait that eight to 12 months? And then if it doesn't happen in eight to 12 months, that's it. It's time to go to the next system and move on to the next thing. And that's it, kid. You got here for the last part of the video. It's, it's all over now. You want to let people know that they could click up here to check something else out or also download my gear vault? Kitty, you could say bye. Look, say hi to everybody right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off. Jared Poland, Fronosphoto.com. See ya. Hi. Hi there, kitty cat.